that are corruptive, they have no, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away back from God. Man, that's judgment. When you do that, that's judgment. You know, when you when you provoke the heavenly father and his son to anger, that's judgment, man. You see what I'm saying? So the ox know, his master crib, be know who feed him. You know? He know that. But Israel, Israel don't even know who feed him, nor do they understand the judgment that's gonna come up on them, man.
scripture say in Revelation 13, man. They led us into captivity and beat us down, man, as a people. Stripped us of our heritage and everything. Basically, they fucked us up. So the scriptures say they gotta go into captivity. It says it right here, and it says in Revelation 13 uh, and 10. And it says, and thine adversary, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. And all the prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So when you spoil, when you spoil somebody, what do you do? You basically you kill them. You take all their, like you take all their riches and their possessions. You ravish and take their women. You kill the men. You take the women. Breed yourself and, 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 and breed that particular race out, man. Just like Esau came over this transatlantic slave trade, man. Took us as a spoil, man. For the children, for the 
iniquity of their fathers. All this we showed you the slavery side. These 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 children that are here, they quit the claim they had nothing to do with it. But the scripture tell us in Sirach 41 that they'll complain of an ungodly father. But the scriptures say prepare a slaughter for the children. So they have to take that tab. Right? So it's just like like the, like the, you we always use the analogy when you go to the dinner, you eat dinner, somebody walk out on you, you got to you got to you got to take that tab, make it fit that bill. So that's what your forefathers and the, all the iniquities that they done to our people when they died off, they left you with it, even though some of them are coming back in the spirit. They back here in the spirit. Go ahead. This uh Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of their father, that they do not ride nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. See, that they not, may not rise and possess the land and fill the face of the, of the with cities. That go right with that Job 2015 that the brothers just read. That go right with it, man. So you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to build no empires no more, Esau. Your empire is crumbling, man. Look at this nasty ass shit, man. This shit is falling. Infrastructure, bridges is collapsing everywhere, man. This shit is fucking falling everywhere you go. Abandoned buildings and shit. The money, the money is fucking ain't ain't no value for y'all money no more. It's over for y'all, man. It's fucking over for the so-called white man, man. You are living on borrowed time for real. And it's just a matter of time when y'all boss me outside, make his debut, man, and tear y'all ass up. Just a matter of time, man. This is, uh, you got one. This is Jeremiah 30 17. For I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord your house. I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. So who is that thee talking about? That's the nation of Israel, man. He's telling you he gonna heal us, he gonna restore us, man. But it has to be a process. It has to be death, man. It has to be bloodshed for the remission of sins. It has to be a process. Y'all about some y'all shot going to restore the nation of Israel back to the glory days, man. And we will have slaves in that day. We will be glorifying the Lord, man. We sing and praise unto his glory name for us. And it says, it says, for I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord Yahweh. It says, because they called thee an outcast, saying, this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. When you come here, man, in, in, in America, when you go to these ghettos, man, in America, you know everywhere you go in America, you understand where the ghetto's at, because you see fucking shit fucked up every damn where. You know when you're in the ghetto, you know it. But the Most High say he's gonna heal us from that. Our people are messed up, man. And he, he did, through the hands of Esau. You know? They screwed up, man. They don't know, they just don't, they don't know nothing, man. And it says, this is Zion whom no man seeketh after. You got them damn so-called nigger, nigger leaders, man. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't telling our people who they are. They not waking our people up. Esau damn sure ain't trying to wake you up. The only men out here trying to wake up our people in the elect are the men of the Lord, man. The elect men of the Lord, man. I'ma tell you, it's mainly GMS too, man. You got some brothers out there who probably don't go under our name, and I've seen they push the truth, and they push it to the best of their ability, and they push the truth. 
But when you ask the men who they learn on it, they're going to say GMS. It's mainly GMS, man. It's pushing this total of 100% true. It's trying to wake, wake them up, man. Goddamn nigga leaders, damn niggas. Man, I don't even want to start naming their goddamn names. We know who they are. Oh, goddamn niggas. And then, oh, you talking about they say then, Bob, then, yeah, uh, oh. fucking Yahana, uh, uh, General Yahana, uh, I mean Yahana. Sorry. Yeah. Who else? Simple ass oh, nigga. Oh, man, oh.